Hello, sewing people of the internet. What is in this box, I think, is going to be game-changing. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. This is Sarah Wright's new worker bee. The motor package that I'm reviewing in this video was provided by Sailrite, so you should consider this to be a paid promotion and sponsored content. Uh, as always, take my opinion with a grain of salt, but I really like it. So the Sailrite Worker B is a new motor package for the UltraFeed machines, and it is amazing. Uh, I'm super impressed and by the way, thank you for watching these videos and for subscribing and stuff because because of you, I got the opportunity to get this thing ahead of time before it gets released to the market and uh, get a first look at it and be able to share it with you so you can start saving your pennies and buy it. If you have an ultra feed, you're going to want this. Thanks for being part of this so that we can all learn about this together. So what is so exciting? about the worker bee. One thing that I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this about the UltraFeed in my, my previous review videos and other videos where I've used it, but there's no on off switch for the Sailrite UltraFeeds. Uh, you plug it in and it's on and you know I'm kind of safety conscious. I don't like to have machines that can just be activated by stepping on a pedal by accident uh, when I'm not attending to them or using them. So you have to go to the trouble of unplugging it when you aren't using it. That's one of those things that, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but then when you have a switch, you realize, wow, that's a really big deal. The Worker Bee control unit has a power switch on the back, so now you can turn it on and turn it off. That's nice. It also has uh, an outlet for your light, if you have an accessory light on your machine. They can plug directly into it. That's also a nice touch. I think newer UltraFeeds may have that incorporated into the design, but mine's an older one and did not have that. Maybe the most interesting and exciting is this knob on the top, which allows you to set the maximum speed of the motor. So if you turn it all the way clockwise, then the motor is at its fastest speed, and you have variable control with the pedal. Of course, you have to turn it on. But if you turn the machine down, I'm just going to go all the way to the lowest speed setting, you still have variable speed control, but the top speed is limited. But what's really interesting is how slow you can go with this thing. I mean, that is ridiculous. Not even the fact that you can go so slow, it's very easy for me to keep it at this slow speed. I mean, that's insane. So you have speed control, which is nice. And perhaps the most uh, interesting and important thing is that this is a quarter horsepower motor. The clutch motor underneath my Conso 225, big giant motor, is a one-third horsepower motor. The motor that came on the Sailrite, the little regular household sewing machine motor that came on it, which was already a little bit more powerful than I think many typical household machines, uh, that motor is about a tenth of a horsepower. So this motor is two and a half times more powerful than the motor that came on the Sailrite, which again was already reasonably substantial. And it's reasonably close to the power of the big giant clutch motor that's on my Conso. What's great about this is that power is bolted on the back of the machine. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is a Thompson uh, machine, and I think most of you know by now that Thompson is kind of the predecessor to the Sailrite UltraFeed design. And this one is in a Sailrite industrial style table, and it is being powered by Sailrite's workhorse industrial servo motor. I got this set up for this machine because I wanted to upgrade to the more powerful and more controllable servo motor 
but I wanted to maintain the portability of this machine. And I got the first part of that. The, the power and the controllability of this motor is excellent. However, it's not as portable as I was hoping. It's not that big of a deal, but it's not just a plug and play situation. And, and side note, uh, I have plans for this motor. Um, it's an excellent servo motor if you're in the market for a servo motor, but it didn't fit into the package the way I was planning to use it. Fortunately, the worker bee does. So here I've got the UltraFeed mounted into the Sailrite table and I can sew with it, but if I want to use a different machine, I can just drop most household full-size machines right into this cutout. If you didn't know, the Sailrite UltraFeed base uh, is about the same dimensions as a lot of uh, Vintage Singer and other domestic sewing machines. You just need these hinges to fit into the table and they're not very expensive. I like that for a couple of reasons. One, I have a lot of sewing machines and I like to use different machines for different things. So I can easily remove this machine and use a different machine in this table. I don't even have to disconnect the belt and have the motor hanging underneath or step on the wrong pedal or whatever. So that's nice. The other thing is uh, if I want to take this machine home or to a friend's house or some remote location to use it on a sewing project that is not easily brought to me, the machine with all of the power and all the advantages of the motor that it uses are all one package. So I wouldn't have to reattach the uh, portable motor or use a different one that has the portable motor on it. It's all the same, whether it's here at the table or in a case taken somewhere else. I would be remiss if I didn't point out one other advantage that this motor package offers for the UltraFeed. Uh, in a previous hilarious video of mine, How Loud Is the Sarite UltraFeed, I'll put a card up for that. I compared the Sailrite UltraFeed to some household items to demonstrate how loud it is for a sewing machine. Uh, and again, it's not a chainsaw, but it's just kind of loud for a sewing machine compared to typical domestic sewing machines. Well, this motor package definitely tames that sound quite a bit, and it's a lot less loud. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's you know, pretty comfortable for me to talk over. Sailrite is known for having excellent instructions and documentation and awesome videos. So I'm not even going to attempt to do a how-to video on installing this motor package onto the machine, but I will show you in kind of broad strokes the steps that I went through. It's actually very, very easy. I probably took half an hour taking my time to do it, and if I had another one sitting here, I could have one on another machine in probably 10 minutes. Let me show you some general steps on how this motor gets installed.
some of you out there may have Thompson machines, and yes, there are knockoff machines out there that appear to be identical. Uh, I have no idea if this package will work on those machines. And on both ethical grounds and a belief that they are inferior products, I don't recommend those particular machines. Uh, Thompson's a different story. If you can find an old Thompson at a good deal, they're great machines. Um, the Sailrite has some pretty distinct advantages in operation, but you know this is still a, a good machine. So in, in the interest of those who may have one of these or may find one, it might be interesting to know if the worker bee can work on an old Thompson. Let's find out. Okay, so uh, maybe been 15 minutes and this was a little bit more convoluted but I've got this all swapped over to this uh, Thompson PWZ 500. Uh, I had to change what they call a jack drive or it's like a gear reduction drive uh, on the ultra feed style machines. The one that came on this Thompson is a different size or different ratio. I, apparently there were some changes in these over the years so your machine may be different but you have to use the one that's on the current model Sailrites with the Worker Bee. So I just took the one off of my Ultra Feed, put it on this. Pretty sure you can buy this, uh, this gear, or the, the correct one, from Sailrite. One advantage of the Worker Bee package is you can use the Monster Wheel or the Power Plus Wheel, that, uh, the bigger wheel that comes with Sailrites. But what it does is it adds another gear reduction because of the larger diameter wheel and it won't go as fast at its full speed but it really increases the slow speed control over what was already pretty amazing slow speed control so i've got a piece of leather here this is just some random uh it's got fur on it still i don't know anything about what thickness of leather this is but this is the sort of leather that you would want to make like a wallet or a bag or something out of the kind of leather that I think is appropriate for a machine like this. So let's see how it does with that. Folks, I have sewn with a lot of machines on a lot of materials. That is impressive. I don't know if you're picking up on it, but I'm not changing my foot pressure at all. And when the needle hits the leather, the controller is actually increasing the amount of power to push the needle through. So there you can kind of hear it. That's at the top speed at the slowest speed setting. And for comparison's sake, this is at the highest speed setting, the top speed with the larger diameter Monster 2 wheel on. It's definitely not going to set any speed records, but it's not obnoxiously slow, I guess. So that's a first look at the Sailrite Worker B portable motor package for the Ultra Feed and similar machines. I, I'm blown away. It's such a great idea and the Ultra Feed is such a great application for it because it's a portable machine. You know, I, I have a couple of industrial machines that I use a lot of the time and there are advantages to full size industrial machines. But I keep coming back to these machines for projects. They work as well as any walking foot sewing machine that I've used and now they just got a lot better. So if you have an ultra feed or similar machine, just go buy this, like it's totally worth it. Uh, I don't know if I can say in this video what the pricing is gonna be, 
but it's not like I'm I was very pleasantly surprised when they told me what they expected the price to be when I'm told I can reveal pricing or once it's out in the public I'll put a pinned comment below that uh, has the pricing and I'll probably have links to this through Sailrite. I am an unabashed fanboy of Sailrite, but I haven't hesitated to critique things in the past that, you know, I didn't think were quite right. I got nothing on this. This thing is fantastic. Uh, if you have an ultra feed or if you have a similar machine, if you're thinking about one, this needs to be part of it. Like, this is truly a game changer. Lots of people ask about sewing leather with this kind of machine, and while this is not a dedicated leather sewing machine for sewing really thick leather stuff, you know, there are very expensive machines for that kind of stuff, but for the hobbyist kind of stuff, making wallets and things like that, then this has always been a fine machine for that, but with this package, it's really great for that. You can go super, super slow and be super careful, but move more quickly as a result of being able to stay on the pedal and not having the hand wheel or hand stitch or anything. Uh, the, the amount of control you have for doing something like leather is amazing. If you like to tinker with leather, this is definitely the way to go, short of going to a full-on real industrial uh, leather machine. All right, I feel like I'm rambling because I can't stop saying good things about this thing. I'm super impressed with it. Did I say that already? If you have questions or comments, post them in the comments section below. Go check out Sarah Wright's website. Check out their YouTube channel. They'll have stuff about this on their channel as well. Again, I encourage you to take anything I say with a grain of salt, but this is great. This is really, really great. Like, I'm super excited about this, and I hope you check it out. And if you get one, please let me know how much you love it, because I'm pretty much in love with it. As always, I really appreciate your views and your likes. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, I'd love for you to subscribe. See you next time.